Hey, hey, we're back and I've got my favorite Food Hero crew here today. I've got Aislinn, Carly, and Zach. Can you guys say hi? Hi. And we are ready to make a delicious salad for you today. But first, what do we always need to do before we start to cook? Wash your hands. All right, we're going to do that. We'll see you back right here. In a food is fun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, our hands are clean. We're back and we're ready to go for a grape and cucumber salad. So that might sound unusual. And when you find out what's in it, you might even think it's more unusual. It's actually got a little bit of vinegar. It's got some hot sauce in it. Um, so it's going to be hitting all those tastes. We're going to have some sweet. We're going to have some tangy, kind of sour. We're going to have some spice. Um, it's actually quite a delicious dish for summer. I use this a lot in cooking work workshops I was doing last summer. And people were very surprised about how much they love this dish. Now today... Um, we've got cucumbers in it and we're using green grapes. We're going for an all green theme today. You could also use um, red grapes if you wished. That is up to you. I've already sliced some cucumber here and I kind of used partial slicing cucumber and I also used one of these too. These are awesome. I don't know if you've ever seen these. These are called cocktail cucumbers. Um, delicious. Very thin skin and just great for snacking on. These are very much available cucumbers right now at our local farmer's markets, and I found these grapes on a great sale this week at the grocery store, so that's what inspired this recipe. So we're gonna get started. I'm gonna let Aislinn start. Uh, she's gonna slice the grapes in half. For this, we're gonna slice them in half, and because they're kind of rolly, she's gonna use either a butter knife um, or a child safety knife, just because I wanna make sure she's safe. And so yes, so and remember to point your knife down and then you can just go ahead and throw them in here when you've got them done. While Aislinn's working on that, I'm gonna come over here with Carly and Zach and they are gonna get started on the dressing. So Carly, I'm gonna have you take the vinegar in our liquid measuring cup, right? Liquid measuring cup for our liquids. We need one fourth of a cup of that. And remember to get down to eye level when you're measuring that. And while you do that, Zach, I'm gonna have you start with three-fourths of a teaspoon of salt, okay? And we know from doing our fractions that we need to do one-fourth plus one-half to equal three-fourths, okay? So do one of each of those of the salt and just put it right here in our mixing jar. Carly, you can go ahead and pour the vinegar in. All right, awesome. And since, perfect, Zach. And then Carly, the next thing I'm gonna have you do is I'm gonna have you grab that teaspoon that's right there, the white one, and you're gonna measure a teaspoon of oil that's gonna go into our jar. You got it, Zach? Okay. And then Zach, the next thing you're gonna do, you're gonna do two of these teaspoons here of the brown sugar. So when you measure it, kind of press it up against the side to make sure it's nice and full, okay? Give them all with that good stuff, recipes that kids love. That was one fourth of a teaspoon. Yeah. So we actually need four of those. Oh, okay. okay. Zach, you get to do the hot sauce. Mm -hmm. Awesome. And it's just a little bit. It's only one fourth of a teaspoon. If you don't like hot and spicy, you could leave it out, but I really think you should put it in. It definitely makes this dish delightful. So go ahead. The one fourth of a teaspoon is this right here. So it's just a little bit. Not to get enough. Where healthy food is fun. Give them Go ahead and put the lid on. Screw it on real tight, and you both can take turns shaking that baby up, okay? That good stuff. Recipes that kids love. Aislinn, go ahead. I'm going to add these, and I'm going to have you add um, green onion. So there's a little bit of green onion in here as well. So, Aislinn, you can add the green onion. Perfect. And I have a joke about grapes. Okay, Aislinn's got a joke. Let's listen. Guys, right, let's see what you think. Why are grapes never lonely? Why are grapes never lonely? Because they come in bunches. They come in bunches. <laughs> All right, very good, Aislinn. And the other thing I want to point out about grapes and cucumbers, did you know that grapes and cucumbers are mostly water? You know how we need more water in the summer, right? So yeah. you should just eat lots of grapes and cucumbers, huh? Yeah. Yeah, help us get our water in. All right, so I think we're ready to go ahead and pour the dressing over the top of our salad there. 
Oh, that looks so good. Oh, I can smell it. It smells delightful. Mmm, it smells very vinegary. I'm just going to stir it up. Yeah, you can stir it. Go ahead and stir it up there, Aislinn. All right, and that is it for our cucumber grape salad. We're going to go ahead and get that in the fridge, let it chill, let those flavors marinate together, and I think you guys, it's going to be perfect with our lunch. What do you think? Mm -hmm. Good, yeah. All right, so that's all for us today. We will see you next time. Bye. Bye.